Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Friday, the 30th day of December. Here we go. Today, a few halachas about the placement of aliyahs, who, like, who gets an aliyah win inside of the shul. You probably all know that, of course, the Kohen gets the first aliyah, and uh, if there is no Kohen that's there, then you can give the first aliyah to a Levi or to a Yisrael, either one is fine. If you give the first aliyah to Kohen, and then you find out that there's no Levi there, you're not allowed to jump to go Kohen and then to Yisrael. But the proper thing to do is to give that Kohen the first aliyah and again the second aliyah. The reason for that is because if you were to give, well, you can't give it to Yisrael, because once you started the order of Kohen, Levi, Yisrael, you have to have something more important than Yisrael in that second slot. And if you called up another Kohen to that slot, it would give the impression that something was wrong with the first Kohen, and we don't want that. And there is no Levi available, so the only thing to do is to have that Kohen uh, just, you say, Yamod bin Kom Levi, which means you come up, same Kohen, um, instead of the Levi. And no one will think that there's anything wrong with the Kohen, because after all, if there was, then he wouldn't be getting the second Aliyah. So that Kohen, in that situation, will get two Aliyahs in a row. He says the Baruchu again, the Bracha again, and everything, because it is a full-fledged second Aliyah that he is getting. It's always best to have someone who is observant in Torah and mitzvos uh, to be one of the people getting the main Aliyahs in the shul. If the person you want to call up is not observant in Torah and mitzvos, you should discuss that with your competent rabbi. It's touchy and uh, in certain circumstances it might be allowed, but it should be under the rabbi's discretion. Now if you have a known person in your shul who defies God and says he doesn't believe in God and that there is no God, then we can't give him a bracha that involves a blessing because it's too hypocritical to have that kind of person say, blessed are you God, when he always announces to everyone in shul that he doesn't believe that there's a God. But if that person really needs to be honored for some reason and you want to give him some form of honor, you could give him some form of honor that doesn't involve a blessing, like for example, lifting the Torah or wrapping the Torah or opening the ark or something like that. Thanks for logging on. Log on again after Shabbos for more. Bye-bye.